<clears throat> Hello, I'm going to show you a quick process of mine to help um, organize your task list into a, kind of an executable, something you can complete. Um, this is especially helpful when you've got a pretty long task or project list and you need to prioritize it. You need to decide what uh, what I need, what do I need to do now, and what do I need to do next? And um, let's dive right in. So we have a sauna, and this is where we keep all of our tasks and um, and assignments. So um, if you look, you can see details about these tasks. Um, they have certain of them have due dates. Certain of them are from certain projects uh, that have been assigned to me, um, and they um, I've already I've, I have them in these rough categories here, but um, I need to really refine them and and see what what work I need to what I need to work on. So let me bring you over to a mirror board that I've started and show you what I've done and how it's helpful. So I have um, this mirror board um, that I've called Project Priorities, and I put the date on it. August 2nd, 2022. Um, so this is a, this board itself is actually a template where there's a, the graph between low value and high value and the graph and, and the other axis between low effort and high effort. Um, and this is just a pretty um, this is a pretty common way to just um, to decide what what warrants uh, effort, and what warrants your time, <clears throat> it's a prioritization um, thing. So you can you can go to Miro uh, boards, and how you do it is you create a new board, and then how you click on it, and it would bring you to the new board, and it would um, open up the templates. Um, now I already have this is what it'll open up when you create a new board. And then you can just, it's actually just on this first page, if you just scroll down to 2x2 two two prioritization, prioritization method, it's really helpful to see what what you should be spending your time on. So I've already started, but I'll just walk you through the next couple of tasks. Um, and again, let me zoom out just a tad. Um, I have added all of my Asana tasks in. Um, oh, let me show you that real quick before I, I continue. So how I, I do that is you link Asana and Miro, um, and I've shown that in a previous video you can watch, and then you can, um, so you will click on this more, air, more tools arrow, and then click on Asana cards, and you want to see just your tasks because Asana card will show you all tasks. So once it loads up here, then I will show you how to get to just your tasks and how to add them in in bulk. You can add all your tasks that you want to organize in all at once. So um, you'll select three things. You'll select your um, your workspace, which is 10 and then you'll want to sort by assignees because you're going to find you, and then you'll go sort, and then you'll um, find your name, and then it will show you a list of every single task that has been assigned to you, um, whether it's been completed or not. So what you have to do here is you have to scroll down, and you have to go and check everything that's uncompleted. Uh, and once you've gone ahead and gone all the way down and checked everything that's uncompleted, those are all of the things in your task list. Then you go ahead and click this add. And I can do it since I've already added them, but that's how you do it. Um, so I have several left you can see to prioritize here. I'll just walk you through the next three. So let's edit brand documents with. That's it's a little lag here. With suggestions. Okay. It's going in further and further. 
So the edit brand documents with suggestions. Is that high effort or low effort? That one is somewhat somewhat middle effort. Um, and is it going to be probably a little bit higher effort? Um, so we'll put it on this half of the board. And is it going to give low value or high value? Well, it will be, um, it will give fairly high value. Oops, control Z that, Control Z moves that back. So I want to select this and move it um, into uh, high effort and somewhat high value. Uh, refine intake form. Um, okay, so this is one I'm actually going to set aside for the moment because I've, I've started it and I'm not sure at this point that I, that I need to finish it. So I'll set it aside to work on later. Edit the writer's articles. Alright, so this one is going to be high value, very high value, um, but um, somewhat high effort. So I'll put it up, up in here. And you can just go along and assign all of those tasks to um, values to help you determine in this in this um, in this quadrant these are the do it now tasks and this um, that and that that quadrant is the high value um, low effort and then when you have the high value and high effort these are the do it next task and then if it's uh, low effort but low value do it when there's time and then if it's low value low effort or low value high effort just don't do it and that's it that's um, this is the two by two prioritization